fuck. I guess we'll see how this works out. I hate this. <laughs> Dude, live from the steering wheel, it's right now. It's fucking ridiculous. I hate the way I look. I don't want to say that, but you know, I picked a pretty unflattering angle. Why don't I just have the camera right there and I'll do this, you know? All right, this video is not about how I look. That could use a dusting, huh? Okay, this is a current video. Current as in, I make it on my phone because I don't want to, I was, I've been thinking about this for like three days. I was like, oh, my, my Utah injuries. That would be, that'd be a good video. Talking about my injuries in Utah. Look, is that funny? It keeps covering my face. What am I gonna do? So, the reason why it's good for me to talk about the injuries is because they're very current. I just left the gym and I was, I've been trying to bend my knee. I'll tell you more about that in a second. But the reason I'm doing it on a cell phone, not a GoPro, and not with the fancy face look or anything interesting is because, first of all, it probably doesn't fucking matter. If you like my talking videos, then maybe you like this one. It doesn't matter how I appear. This is interesting. This guy's taking up two lands to make a right. I like it. So, so I don't want to wait. I'm like, oh, I gotta wait till I get in front of the GoPro and make it like the usual. I don't know. I don't have time. All right. I'm making it right now. You can watch it right now. So I'm making it on my way back from the gym where my new nickname is the GIMP. All my friends call me that. JK, I don't really have any. At least I don't have many. I don't have any that I see pretty regularly. So nobody calls me the GIMP. I call myself that. Isn't that good? Isn't that positive? So here's the situation. Let's go and let's go in order of appearance. So the first injury, yeah, they appeared. They didn't happen. They just appeared. They materialized before me. Nope, they happened. I'm gonna go cold water swimming in a minute, by the way. I stayed in 51 degree water for seven and a half minutes. I thought it was 20, but it was seven and a half. Anyhow, injury number one. I thought I was God, I gotta think about the order of this. No, this was definitely the first one. Is I, I thought you could just solo rock climb, as in free solo, no anything, and it was fine. And I'm talking like 10 feet, you know? So I was like climbing over at a place called the Hell Hole in Kayenta. It's not like it sounds, it's not a hell hole. It's actually really nice. But I was climbing and I fucking, I was just, I, was, I wasn't climbing, I was fucking hiking, okay? I was fucking hiking. And I was like, I'm gonna climb this thing. And so I started climbing this thing. And when you fall, you don't know what happened. You don't, did I, what happened? Did you lose your footing? Did, uh, you know, did the great ground give way? You don't know what happened. You just know you're free falling. And in my case, I was free falling. I started like this and then I slipped and naturally, I'm assuming I slipped. I free fell, fell sideways and I landed on my fucking head. So if you're wondering, wow, what's going on with his mind? No, that was a long time ago. That was, without exaggerating, that was like, that was years ago. All right, you wanted a stupid look? How's that? Ireland. That's not stupid. I love Ireland. I fucking love it. All right, now it looks like I am suffering from leukemia. Don't ask. Okay, look, I'll make myself look stupid. That'll be the end of it. All right, that's pretty ridiculous. I'll go with that. Now it looks weird. I had it just right. Shut up. All right, so. It's all kind of trying to mask the fact that I have a big forehead. Can't I just embrace the way I look and accept it? Back to the injury. So I fell this way and I hit my head. God, I'm trying to remember. I think I hit the back rear of my head. I don't know which part of your brain is there, but anyhow, I was fine. I was, I would be in fine being. I was fucked up. I had like a monstrous headache for two days and I kept like, oh, I kept having to crack my neck and it was just never right for like a couple days. You know what I mean by that? Like. You ever hit your head like that? So that was injury number one. Not even that interesting, but interesting enough. Are you still listening? Shout out S87, shout out Trent, shout out Igor, shout out my mom, shout out my sister, shout out the bat probably, uh, shout out Omid, shout out cousin Greg and Jeremy, shout out, fuck, maybe Mike Enyard's watching this. I don't, God damn it, I always forget. I always, and then later I'm like, got to say shout out to you and it's not because you don't matter it's a lot of names to remember the 10 people who watch my videos injury number two moving on to more interesting injuries i was in my house and i accidentally discharged a world war ii rifle specifically a mauser god i want to say it's m m22 i think a mauser m22 or something like that it was a wasn't Romanian. I want to say it might have been Serbian. 
I can't fucking remember right now, but a World War II rifle. Long story short, I wasn't playing by the rules of safe guns, all right? There's rules you're supposed to play by, and that's putting it lightly. It's, you know, your fucking life, it could be dangerous or fatal to you or others if you don't follow certain guidelines when fucking with guns, okay? I, I got an antique gun. This is a while ago now. This is like two years. And I, I was only familiar with modern guns. I was also relatively new to guns. And I fucking, you know, I knew how modern guns worked in basic terms. You know, I'm not an expert by any means, but I know how to operate a fucking firearm, right? So I got this Mauser though from a gun show. And you know, the guy wasn't like, you ever fucked with an antique rifle? And I wasn't like, I haven't ever fucked with an antique rifle. Can you tell me, is there anything I need to know? So basically I was sitting there and this is, this is horrible and embarrassing and like, like, you know, lesson learned, Jesus. But I had the rifle pointed at the ground in a direction it should, I'm not even gonna tell you the whole story because it's so disturbing, but in a direction it should not have been pointed. Not at any living being, at least not that I was aware of, but it very well could have been. And I thought, what did I think was going on? I was. I don't even know, I'd have to take a second to really remember what was happening, and believe me, I could, but basically, I thought it was empty, and I was wondering why something wasn't happening, but it wasn't firing, if you fuck with the rifle, usually at the end of, the, at the end of uh, pulling the bolt enough times, it's going to spit out all the rounds. This antique Mauser just, I think what happened was it wasn't doing that, and I was kind of confused because of how many rounds were there, and I hadn't counted them. At any rate, I just, and again, this is something you just don't do I mean you do it actually you do dry fire your fucking rifles and your guns when you're at home cleaning them or adjusting them or whatever you absolutely do but you got to point it in a safe direction you have to be totally sure visually mechanically sonically I'm not trying to give a gun class because I'm not qualified to give one but you basically have to make sure there's nothing in the fucking there's no magazine in there or in the case of a rifle make sure there's no fucking rounds in the chamber and I did that to the best of my ability, which was not sufficient, and pulled the trigger. And that fucking rifle bullet, I'll maybe include a picture. It's just so big, it, you know, I was in a 10 by 12 room without ear protection. I could have fucking blown my hearing. It's, it was so disturbing and fucked up. And again, some shit got destroyed in my house that I ended up having to pay for. And there was some disturbing implications about the trajectory of the shrapnel from the bullet and from the floor. Uh, you know, again, I'll, let me just say disturbing implications in a neighborly, neighborhood, society, safety sense. So, but it fucked up my hearing in my left ear for a long time. And oh my God, that was, in my adult life, that was at the time the worst thing that had happened. It's a fucking speed limit here. Oh, I can't see my fucking speedometer. So, that happened and my hearing was fucked up and I was afraid it was never going to go back to normal. And lo and behold, there is hope. It returned to normal. And I... When that happens, when you sustain any kind of like hearing loss or injury, you become acutely aware of your hearing and ringing in your ears and sonic, just your sonic environment. Like I was driving around with earplugs for a long time and I still wear earplugs in many, many environments. Anytime the music is too loud somewhere, virtually every concert that I go to, which I don't go to many to be honest, I always wear earplugs at the gym. Anyhow, that's not a cautionary thing about earplugs. I'm just trying to make an interesting story for you. Apparently, I had to want to, my injuries in Utah. That's what I wanted to talk about because I thought you would think it was interesting. Now, let's get to injury number three, okay? Now, this is a controversial injury, and it's the current one. It's the reason why I'm still fucked up. I still can't walk right, which is a very interesting sensation, although not as interesting as your body actually being able to do things in your brain inhibiting it out of preventative caution I don't know how to I don't know I'm not a fucking biologist so there's various stories going around about this injury okay and I'm about to tell you one okay do you get me so you know I hang out with goats right if you watch some of my videos you know I hang out with goats I've been rammed by a goat before and worse I've had horns wrapped around my leg if you go in there not knowing anything and it's a dangerous thing. You gotta say going in there, I mean going into the pen. It's one thing, you're feeding goats little pieces of apples and grapes through the fence. That's lovely. And you're really not likely to get hurt. But if you go into a fucking pen with goats and you do or don't have food, 
and the goats have not been like properly, I don't know what the term is, but let's just say raised or domesticated, you can you can get severely fucked up. And I I never I got pretty bruised up one time. And there's I'm sure you've seen a video of me getting ran by Belku on the fucking Instagram or on the YouTube before. If you haven't, go to my channel and just type in getting rammed by Belku on repeat into my you know, is it, can you do that? Can you go to my videos and then search? And if not, just type in Litvin Capers, getting rammed on repeat, and you'll find it. So basically, that happened. And mind you, I know a little bit more now. Like, I hadn't been attacked or had any issues with goats in a long time. And if you're asking why I hang out with goats, that's going to have to be another video. Let me just, in short, tell you that it makes me very happy and I love them. Is that enough? Do I need to actually make a video? It's a miraculous thing. If you can hang out with goats, go do it, despite the dangers, okay? Which there shouldn't be any if the goats are properly domesticated, if things are stable, let's say. Uh, so in this situation I was in, some things had changed around environmentally for the goats. I have some suspicions about a few other things too, about some things that may have been making one of them aggressive. And by one of them, I mean the biggest one, who is really tremendously large. I'm gonna say weight estimate, probably 250 pounds. I do that based on the size of his, basically his trunk. So I, you know, there's not a whole lot to tell about. I, you know, I got rammed again by a very large goat at speed, headbutted. Which, if you haven't seen the power of a, an animal headbutting of that size, it's fucking powerful. So I got headbutted again. I'm not gonna get into the details, but I got headbutted. Of course, I didn't see it coming, you know, for a number of reasons. One of which was it was just too dark outside, and that's absolutely my fault. So, I got headbutted on the side of my leg. You can imagine you're standing here in something with force. This is like the knee, right? It's not the front, it's not the back, the side. Something comes in. And that's a common football injury. That thing goes in, you get an ACL tear, an MCL tear. I got an MPFL tear and a fucking dislocated patella and all the shit that comes along with that. Like, they have a fancy word for swelling, they call it joint effusion. Um, there's some of the mineral, limp, min, mineral, what am I talking about? Um, not, uh, lip, minor, let's just say minor tear to my meniscus as well, one of them that doesn't matter that much. And so I've been fucked up for close to a month now, it seems like. And the worst of that was the, obviously the first night was the absolute worst, but I gotta say, there it's been dark times. Like, I had two weeks of like crutches and pain and I, I made myself go to Ithaca. And it wasn't to play those shows, right? If you haven't seen the videos of Ithaca shows, go to my music channel, Peter Lippin Music, and you can see the videos. Hopefully more of them are up by now. Um, so I went to Ithaca, I was flying, I'm on a bus, I'm in a car, I'm in a show, I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm walking, without crutches at that point too. And I fucked it up worse. And it was just a really bad, I'm not gonna talk about that in detail other than to say that it was a really, one of the most awful periods in my life. That's how you use a turn signal, yay! Congratulations, fucking genius over here. But the dark times seemed to, seemed to have ended for the moment, and I'm on the mend. I'm walking around without crutches. I'm exercising. I can bend my leg, the injured leg, about a maximum of 70 degrees right now. How much is that? You're kidding, right? This is fucking well. That's that's like 90 degrees minus the webbing of your hand. Isn't that funny? We used to have webbing, but we don't anymore. So I can bend my leg 70 degrees, which is a vast improvement from one week ago where I was only able to bend it 10 degrees. And I'm going to physical therapy. I don't need surgery. I guess that's kind of it. Again, I'm, I'm hesitant to get into certain details about some of these things, which I know is completely fucking lame. But I'll, I'll say this, with the head injury and the um, hiking slash rock climbing injury, I, uh, I've told you everything. With the goats, I haven't told you everything. And I'm not trying to be mysterious. You know what the truth is? Let me just say the actual truth is their fucking well-being is the most important thing to me. That's it. And I'm kind of poised to uh, share or withhold information that would protect their well-being. 
Sorry, I know that sounds stupid. But you know what, you're not, you're not missing that much information, you know? And some of it's even <sighs> fishing for words right now. Yeah, sorry, this is this video is going nowhere now. I tried to tell you about my three injuries, and I did, but now I'm like, I'm like, there's secrets. I can't tell you the secrets. It's like, there's not really secrets. So why don't I shut the fuck up about it, then? Right? Am I right or am I right? All right, that's it. God damn it. I don't really know if this is interesting. You wanted to know about my fucking three injuries. Oh, how do I know you wanted to know? Well, you clicked the fucking video. I mean, you could have just been bored out of your goddamn mind and wanted to uh, do anything other than what you were doing. <sighs> all right, well, that's it. That's all, folks. I hope the video didn't suck. I feel like it did, but maybe you'll enjoy it. Why am I so flat right now? You see how flat I look? Like, what's up with my hair? Am I going fucking bald? Is that male pattern baldness? If it is, I'll get, I'll, you think I won't do it? I'll get fucking hair transplants. What is this? This is how I go around looking? Like, hello, can you get a haircut? Hello. All right, I've lost the plot completely now. I love you.